SQL joins are the glue that temporarily pulls tables together, letting you answer questions one table alone can't. Knowing which SQL join to use lets you control exactly what rows appear in your resulting table and why. So let's jump in. So let's look at inner joins first. So here we have simple employees and departments table where the employees table references the departments table via the depth ID, which points to the ID on the departments table. In this query, from chooses data from the employees table, and then we're using join on the departments table where department ID on the employees table matches the ID in the departments table. This joins all rows from tables that satisfy the join condition. So any employees without a department are dropped. And so if we have a look at the result, we can see Alice works in HR as she is a department ID of one. Bob works in engineering and Carol is not included as she has no department ID. Next, let's look at left join. We've got the same employees and departments table. And then the query is the exact same, except we're using a left join. And this allows all rows from the left table, in this case, the employees table to be kept and the matching department columns are returned when they exist. And so as you can see, Alice and Bob belong to a department like in the inner join. But here we also have Carol, even though she doesn't belong to a department. And this is because every row from the left table is kept. Next, we have the right join, which is pretty much identical, except instead of a left join, we're using a right join, we're just reversing it. And so every row from the right table, in this case, the departments table is kept and employees show up when they belong to a department. And so as you can see in the results, we have HR with Alice, engineering has Bob, but marketing has no employees. So we have null for the left table columns, in this case, employee ID and employee name. Next, we have full outer join. And again, everything is pretty much identical, except we're using the full outer join keywords here. And so in this case, all rows from both tables are kept matching where possible with nothing being dropped. So Alice is in HR, Bob is in engineering, Carol has no department and marketing has no employee. Next is cross join where we have a colors table, which has an ID and a color and a sizes table with an ID and a size. And in this query, we are selecting the color from the colors table and size from the sizes table using from to select colors. And then we're using a cross join on the sizes table. And so this produces all color size combinations. So we have red, small, red, large, blue, small, and blue, large. And and finally, we have self join. So we have the original employees table. And in this query, we are selecting data from the employees table, which we are aliasing with manager and then using a join on the same employees table, which is being aliased as employee. And so essentially what we are doing here is we are creating a table of managers and their direct reports. And as you can see, both Bob and Carol report to Alice. So to recap, we have inner. So think returning only intersecting rows for left think keep all rows from the left table for right. It's the reverse. Keep all rows from the right table for full think keep everything from both table and for across it produces every possible pairing and for self it compares rows within one table so if you like this be sure to check out techprep.app for the most up-to-date technical interview questions and answers sql joins are the glue that temporarily pulls tables together letting you answer questions one table alone can't knowing which sql join to use lets you control